During your instrument flying, most of your scan time will be spent on the attitude indicator. You'll realize that your instrument flying is much more precise than your visual flying. This is because now you are paying more attention to the performance instruments when you use to spend time looking outside the airplane. There's no one scan that works for all pilots. Proficient instrument pilots scan all the instruments with the attitude indicator getting up to two-thirds of the scan time. As your instrument experience and capabilities increase, you'll learn what to look for, when to look for it, and the response to make. Scan patterns in glass cockpit airplanes are similar to those used for analog instruments. The difference is where you will look for particular information. A scan advantage in a glass cockpit is that the attitude indicator can stay in sight while looking at the other instruments. A potential disadvantage is that the tape style instruments may require more time to focus on the value being portrayed. Proficient instrument pilots in analog cockpits can determine the approximate position of the needles with a quick glance. Tape representations require you to read the value to look for changes. As you begin instrument flying, the usual tendency is to scan too rapidly, looking at the instruments without knowing exactly what you're looking for. Slow down. Get the message from an instrument before going to the next one. When the instruments become more familiar, you won't need as much time to get the message. As you gain experience, you'll learn to adjust the scan rate and sequence to suit the flight situation.